All right, so in comparison to the TE2, TE2 is bigger than width and height. But if you look on the side here, the um, <clears throat> Panzer is a little bit taller in height. Maybe about like half an inch probably. So this is the traditional Bulex. This is the, oops. This is Sega, I believe. And of course, the Panzer is way heavier. A lot heavier, like... At least, like, a half more pound. Half more of it. But yeah. I like it. It's good. And buttons aren't too loud. To compare these. Of course, these are the same buttons as well. Sanwa. Compare these. So maybe it's the uh, is obviously the metal case compared to like plastic and metal. Because this one, like if you were to kind of put your pre put pressure like here of your hands, it it creaks and it kind of you can kind of feel feel it going down. Um, and it's, you know, you can kind of like hear all the creaks. So I prefer something more like our arcade cabinet where it's really steady, one platform, and solid. So press a button, it doesn't sound as loud as this. And then also the joystick here is, um, if feels like it's not as loud either compared to this but of course you know there are different levers JL11 Fanta with the golden Fanta kit but yeah anyways yeah that's my comparison in a little review of uh, the Panzer 3 Korean edition it's pretty nice I like it the lock has the uh, right pad the left pad right pad stick that you can kind of switch up and down this one of course you go up it locks you see the back buttons won't work if I switch it go here press it see so it locks so everything works so going for my new top um, red um, plexiglass it's gonna be the red frost it's gonna be more of a not so glossy like this but anyway, yeah, it's good.